Good morning. If you're watching this, you probably already have a bug assault. This was my first bug assault right here. It's actually my second one. This was the second generation of this when they improved the uh, little holder for the salt. And there's nothing funner than using this thing to try to kill a fly. Two, three, four shots, a big fly will go down. Well, in Oklahoma, that's not good enough. And I was really happy last birthday when my son got me one of these, the bug assault shredder. Now this one, is 10 times the bug assault the, the other one is. When you shoot a fly with this, it explodes. It's like watching anti-aircraft take out an airplane. Uh, it's a lot more force behind it. It's a great deal of fun. It comes with two of the uh, 12 packs of ammo when you get it. And then about a month or two in, you realize you've killed a lot of flies and a lot of bugs, and you're down to the last cylinder. And you go and start looking to see what it's gonna cost to get another 12 pack or two or three or four. And you realize that each one of those little cylinders is about $2. This pack's about $25, whether you buy it on eBay or from the company. Worse yet, you have to wait for it because this stuff's on back order. Well, you can actually make them yourself, and it's a pretty simple thing to do. What you do is you keep all your old cylinders. Never throw these things away. The first thing you end up having to do with these things is take them apart. This is simple enough. This is just a little scotch uh, tape dispenser. I put that in the center. This is a spent battery. Put that right on that black center piece and give it a tap. And now it's in two pieces. Hold on to the little black piece because you're going to need it later. Put them in a little separate sack. And with all these, what you're going to do is end up putting all of them in a cup of uh, soap and water and let them soak. I put a cup inside another cup and that way it forces them all underneath the water. At that point, what you have to do is get something like a Scotch-Brite pad and go back and forth on both sides till you get all the residue from the glue and tape off of both sides. Uh, don't use Gooby Gone or something like that because a lot of those will go ahead and start eating into the plastic as well. Just a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, you have these things cleaned up. It's not that big a deal. So, you have a pile of these things cleaned up, you're ready to go. What do you do next? Well, you take these wafer thin little pieces of paper. In this case, it's tracing paper. And you're gonna wanna glue them to the back side. Now, the reason you wanna use the back side is see all those cavities from the injection molding? If you glue this side, when you put it in salt and scoop it up, it's not gonna fill all those cavities. So this is the side to start with. So. Something like Elmer stick glue makes it about as easy as possible. And what I like to do is a light coating on it and then coat the paper. And put them together. And you'll see this paper has been cut in a size that is uh, just barely oversized for the holes. So you get a real good uh, seal all the way around. And then that center piece is gonna cut, be cut out later after it dries. But for now, you just go just like that. Now what I like to do is take five or six of these and stack them and clamp them together, or just put something heavy on top. And with that, the force pressing down gets that thing a nice good seal. So you have that done, what is next? Well, you take it and you're gonna wanna fill that thing up. There we go. I've got one where this is set for a couple days. It's definitely dry. And I have a cup of just plain old salt. I've used coarse salt and regular salt. I don't see a difference. So what I'm gonna do is tip that thing in, get it completely submerged, and then shake it out. Now I'm gonna put it at a slight angle and shake it, and I'm gonna lose a little bit of salt from each one of these cylinders. The reason you wanna do this is when you get a brand new one of these and shake it, they're not full all the way. There's a little bit of room inside there. So at this point, they're not quite to the top. They're a little bit below. So do the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to add some glue. I'm gonna take a piece of paper. Get it nice and covered. And I'm going to glue this in place. And once again, you do a bunch of these at one time, toss a book or something like that on top to get it uh, uh, nice and firm where you're gonna have a really good uh, 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 joining right there between the glue and the paper. When it's done, you've got this piece to cut out. Now, what I like to do is use something simple like just a 
little disposable scalpel. A razor blade works equally well. You just run the razor blade around the inside there, cutting that aside. Now, since you're doing the back side first, I know this side is dry. The other side probably needs a few minutes. I pop that little piece of paper out of the way, and then I drain the extra salt into the salt cup so I can use that later. So now I have a cutaway that's now big enough for that black piece to be put back in once I do the other side. Whole process is really quick. You can have a bag of 12 or 24 of these sitting around and have them all reloaded in 30 minutes or less. You can take the tools, make the stuff you need to do this, or I am also happy to sell you my kit. I'm gonna have this kit listed on eBay. What it's gonna come with is a scalpel, as long as I have scalpels or a razor blade, a pad for sanding them off, glue, and the surprising hardest part of all is the 200 plus round pieces of paper. Paper was harder than I thought to find and very, very difficult to cut in those little circles. And that's over 200, which means it's enough to redo 100 of these. And if you go and price 100 of these, it costs a lot of money to buy 100 of these and be about $200. Uh, so this is going to be listed on eBay today, and I'll have the video up and going today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.